Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. So I have tutorialspoint.com up, pretty awesome website. So this is the Java implementation of a hash table. And a hash table basically is like a dictionary. And I've done a video on JavaScript uh, building out a dictionary, but I thought I would actually build or implement a hash table in JavaScript and uh, sort of make some of these methods clear, contains, uh, contains key, contains value. Um, and, and we'll just implement it, guys. So I'm, I have JSBin up here. I'm going to create a hash table by using this object constructor. And it's going to have two properties. It's going to have a size of zero for now. And it's going to have a data store. And I'm going to initialize that to be an empty object. Um, and so actually to create our hash table, I'm going to do var hash table. Or We'll just do var uh, hash table is equal to a new hash table. Okay, and uh, so now I want to actually build out some methods on this prototype. So the first one we want to implement is clear. Okay, so kind of strange because we haven't added, added anything to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to access the prototype of our hash table and I'm going to write a method called clear as a function. And all this is going to do is we're going to set um, this dot data store to be equal to the empty object again. Let's just go ahead and return this dot data store. Um, we also want to make the size zero again. So we'll see what that looks like. Our next method, uh, clone, returns a duplicate. We're not going to look at that with JavaScript. Um, so next up is contains. So let's build out that. So we're going to do hash table dot prototype dot contains we have function and this is going to take in a key and uh, first we're going to check if uh, this dot data store dot has own property and we're going to pass in the key um, then we're just going to return true else let's go ahead and return false um, next up uh, what we want to do is, uh, let's see, contains enumeration, returns enumeration of the values contained in the hash table. Okay, so let's enumerate. So let's build out that method. I'm gonna build it out right here. Hash table dot prototype dot enumerate. That's gonna be a function, right? And uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna do for var, uh, for var uh, element in this let's just console dot log um, let's console dot log the element see what we get back that'll enumerate um is empty pretty simple one to build out hash table dot prototype dot is empty it's gonna be a function and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna write a ternary operator stuff size is greater than zero um it's gonna be false, uh, otherwise true. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we want to enumerate the keys. Well, we already did an enumeration, so that's fine. We want to put, so we're going to add on to our hash table. So let me implement that. Hash table dot prototype dot put. It's going to be a function. It's going to take in a key and a value. And first we're going to check if this dot has, um, or sorry, if this dot data store we need to change the enumerate real quick. Dot data store dot has own property of key. We're gonna go ahead and throw a new error. Um, hash table cannot contain duplicates. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna say this dot data store of key is equal to the value. And let's go ahead and return this dot data store. But we need to do one more thing. We're going to set this dot size to be plus equal to one. Okay, and let me change one more thing for var element in this dot data store. Okay, let's console.log the element. Or we can actually console.log this dot, this dot data store of elements. We're going to get the value. We can do um, element plus this dot data store plus. Like that. Um, 
remove. We want to remove a uh, element. So let's do that. So we'll do hash table dot prototype dot remove is a function. And this is just going to take in a key. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to say if this dot data store dot has own property of key. Let's go ahead and delete uh, this dot data store key and uh, to decrease the size. Let's go ahead and return this dot data store. And uh, finally, we're going to have the size in two string. So let's go ahead and do hash table dot prototype dot size as a function. And it's just going to return this dot size. And then we want our two string method hash table dot prototype dot two string is a function. And uh, what do we want to do here? Returns the string equivalent of a hash table. So we're just going to do return this dot data store dot two string. Um, or because this is actually a method already, let's just do this. Return string this dot data store. Okay, so I think I've implemented all of our methods in our hash table, so let's go ahead and try. We'll do hash table dot put. Um, we'll do color red. Let's actually make sure this is working. So I'm gonna log these out. Okay, so looks like this one works. Let me get rid of the Okay, so put color in red, so we have that. So now if we try and insert that again, we should get an error thrown. There we go. Um, we want uh, you know bike and bike in blue. All right. All right. So maybe we need to add some more validation on there, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and try. Let me get rid of these logs now. That's a bit annoying. Let's try our remove method. Console.log ht dot, dot uh, remove. And we're gonna remove the color. Okay, so now we have just the bike. But if we try and remove bike, now we just have the color. Okay, so that works. Let me comma that out. Um, let's do console.log hash table dot is empty. We get a false. Um, but if we comment these out right here, then we get a true. Okay. Um, let's get the size. And what is it telling me? So hash table dot size is not a function. Uh, dot prototype dot get. We need to rename it. Get size. Get. Get size. There we go. All right. So it's one. But if we move that, it comes back to two. Um, let's try contains, and we just want to pass it this key of bike, and let's see, function key, if this dot data store that has own property of key, well, we removed the bike, so that's correct, let's try color, and we got true, alright, so that works, um, let's try clear, and see what that gives us, so now we get, um, we just get this, let's just return this dot size. So we get zero at that point. Um, enumerate, let's try enumerating over our hash table. Enumerate. And so here we just get a color red. Um, let's just return this dot data store. So yeah, that's all we're getting. We're getting color and red. So we're getting all our values. Similarly, if I brought that back, we're getting everything. So that method works, and so yeah guys, we've implemented everything. Let me try our two string method, hash table dot two string. What does that give us? That gives us an object object. So not necessarily what we want, but I think it's kind of trying to override this method. Um, 
So let's let's try and uh, let's just do this then. Let's do uh, for var d and this dot data store. Let's just console dot log d plus this dot data store or d and let's just return this dot data store. All right. There we go. Um, and again, if we if you call to string on it, you're gonna get an object object. Okay. So uh, pretty quick implementation of a hash table, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.